Well, hello there, everyone. You've tuned in UXW Bill, and I'm here in a truly deplorable basement for furnace call number two. Let's see what kind of a pig's breakfast we can make out of this one. There's not much light down here, and boy, this is a terrible place to work. It's a no heat call, something I just kind of walked into. I was actually here to solve a computer problem for the woman who works across the street. When I got down here, this thing was doing nothing. I started to undo the bottom door, and it came to life. It's doing something now. At least the draft inducer's running. I don't know how long of a pre-purge it's gonna have. And again, I probably shouldn't be standing in front of it, but I can see the glow igniter doing its thing, or at least trying to. if there's actually any gas service here. This business that was in this building recently closed down. Now somebody else is here. And I just have to wonder if the gas got turned off. That might be the entirety of the problem. And I suspect this thing might not have been running because it locked out. Yeah, I just finished trialing for ignition at least one time. I think we'll try to find out whether or not there's actually gas service turned on here. That may be the entire problem. By golly, it is possible to turn on the light on an iPhone while you're shooting video. Learn something new every day. It is amazing to me how some of these buildings are even still standing. <laughs> what a mess. Okay, so there's where the gas line leaves the building. Let's see if I can find the corresponding meter. I'm really hoping that goes outside to where the meter is located, because there are probably several of them behind this building. Check this out. That's how you get into the basement. Pretty cool. I've seen that once before in another house I was in where I changed out a blower motor on a furnace. There's no gas shut off anywhere that I can find down there. That's just great. But even more interesting is this. They really didn't want somebody getting in back here. You got a deadbolt, got a thumb lock, both those were set. Got this board across the door. Then I walked out here. This piddly little lock was set. And then there was this thing. <laughs> just amazing. All right, so here we are with the gas meters. I think this is probably the line that I was seeing come out of the basement. It was around here and across, over and down, and look at that. Somebody definitely shut that off and they didn't want it turned back on. So I think we've definitely found the problem. I have to go tell the occupant of the building what's going on. Yeah, let's just see if we can get a closer look at that. Now that I've got that video light on to help me out. At least whoever put that in had the decency to put it up on concrete blocks. I'm not sure what they thought this was going to help. <laughs> I even wonder if the water's not been up above those blocks and in this furnace. It sure looks like it. Let's see if we can find out what model number this is. 2005. It's not terribly old. Well, thank you as always for watching, and certainly do feel free to leave a constructive comment if you happen to have one. And do check out the size of that capacitor for that motor. That's impressive. <laughs> Bet you it's been a lot more than 30 days since that was changed last. <laughs> 